welcome back to another video. My name is Tally, if this is your first time on my channel. Okay. For today's video, I will be showing you guys all the books that I have read in the year 2019. So if you're interested, go ahead and keep watching. The first book that I read was A Long Walk to Water. So this one is actually 117 pages, which is really short. I had to read it for my history class. I actually read this book in my creative writing class. This one is called A Long Walk to Water and it is by Linda Sue Park and this book was a huge impact in my life. Um, we actually read it in class and I fell in love with it and it's basically why I started reading all over again. So I, I think I've mentioned this in some of my videos, I stopped reading for a year because college was so um, stressing, like we don't really have time to grab a book because of so much um, homework and studying to do. But I'm so glad that I'm back in my reading life. So basically, A Long Walk to Water, two stories in the year 1985 and in the year 2008. It has a hopeful message where in, in a troubled country, government survivors, they find the future that they're hoping for. So this is about a lost boy called Salva, who is a refugee. He is destined to cover Africa on foot. He is searching for his family and for safety. Then I decided to read more like self-care, more how to handle my money because obviously I don't know how to freaking handle my money and how to budgeting and save up money for shit. So I started reading You Are a Badass books by Jen Sincero. And the first one that I read was You Are a Badass, I'm Making Money. And I think I did a review on this book and on this book. So if you haven't seen it, I will link it down in the I will link it down in the description box. So you are a badass at making money, a very good read, a lot of different ways for you to handle your money, budgeting, and how to handle life overall. You learn how to relate to money in a new, different way. And you are a badass, how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life. It gives you a lot of advice on how to, how to handle your family, your friends, how to create a life that you will totally love. Two great reads for you to change your life forever. Whew, it's hot in here. Fourth book that I read, let's see, which one did I read? One for the Money by Jeanette Ivanovic. So this one is a not, number one New York Times bestseller. So when I look at my books, that's pretty much what I look at first. And um, the back, of course, the description in the back. This is a great story. It ends so freaking good. <sighs> Sorry guys, it's so freaking hot in here. But Stephanie, Plum, I did a review on this book already. Yeah, whatever. That seemed like I don't even care about the books I read, but I do. I'm sorry. One for the Money, it's about Stephanie Plum who decides to be a bounty hunter. She has to catch the guy who um, she has known since she was small. So she becomes a bounty hunter because she ran out of money. She is unemployed because she gets fired from her job. and She gets into lots of trouble. I came back to it. So I read in the year 2016. I read the first part and then I read the second part barely 2018 and then I decided to finish the whole story in the year 2019 this year. I honestly enjoyed this book by Stephen King because he's my favorite author and I'm really surprised that I didn't finish it until this year. And you guys better not miss the movie on September because it's gonna be great. Next. Oh yes! I went um, book thrifting like a couple months ago and I found Under the Dome by Stephen King. I found them super cheap at a thrift store here in my city and they were only six dollars six dollars for both so it was basically three dollars each so this is under the dome part one under the dome part two and i read some reviews that these books are not the same or something like that but honestly they are amazing such a great storyline such a great plot um where they're trapped under a dome and they cannot get out and people who don't even know about it, they crash into it and they, they die. So the story, part one, begins with an airplane crashing towards the dome and they die. <sighs> so once they see that the airplane crashed towards the dome, everyone starts noticing that they are trapped under a dome, a glass wall. A lot of deaths occur 
and they are trying to find a way to get out. This is a TV show as well. I tried watching it the other day, but I don't know. Hmm, I would prefer the books. Mr. Mr. Mercedes by Stephen King. I also read this one, and this is actually a trilogy. So it is Mr. Mercedes, Finders Keepers, and End of Watch. But my dumb self, I read the last book first of the series of the trilogy. Who the heck does that? Only myself, because I just grab books like that thing. If it's Stephen King, I'll just grab it, just like that. But um, yeah, I, fin I finished reading Mr. Mercedes. But this one is basically a stolen Mercedes crashes onto um, a lot of people waiting in line to for a job fair. And the one who crashes onto them is the one and only Brady Hartsfield, evil man, horrifying story. The next book that I read is The Girl Who Played With Fire, and this is a trilogy as well. This is a series. The one, the first one I read already, which is The Girl With The Dragon Tattoo. Such a great story. The second one is The Girl Who Played With Fire, and the third one is The Girl Who Kicked The Hornet's Nest, and this is by Steve Larson. It's about sex trafficking. Michael Blumquist, he runs a publishing institute where they publish um, articles and books. Two people decide to go to him and talk about sex trafficking on their articles but then they are murdered so now they have to figure out who is the one who murdered them but at the same time very 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 good. The next book that I read was Fields of Prey by John Sanford in a cistern they find a couple of skulls in a box and it's not only one skull it's different skulls of different bodies. Victims have been killed for several years and they barely find, found out. So if it wasn't for these teenagers, who knows if they would have found the victim bodies and they have to find the killers. So two audiobooks that I listened to were The Outsider by Stephen King and I read The Apology by Eve Ensler. Okay, and the last two books that I read were Tattoos on the Heart and and I am not your perfect Mexican daughter. I did a reading vlog on them and they were amazing. Tattoos on the heart, it made me cry. So, and of course, this one made me cry as well. I think I should stop even reading in public because I just read freaking sad and depressing books and I just start tearing up and then people look at me like I'm freaking weird. So Gregory Boyle, he, he is a priest who helps teenagers who get into gangs. He helps them by, um, bringing them to the homeboy industries, which is an industry that he put together for gangs who just want to get out of the bad life and um, better their life. He talks about different stories of different gang members that have gone through hell and which made me cry so many times. But I would really truly recommend this book. And then I Am Not Your Mex I'm Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica Sanchez. Um, such an amazing book. Um, very inspirational and very relatable. I honestly have to say that this has been the best book that I have read in the year 2019. Sorry Stephen King, I love you. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Hope you have a great 4th of July and or had a great 4th of July. Yeah, okay, bye! <laughs>